All right, well, I'm back, guys. Uh, hey, there was something that I wanted to ask you guys, or run by you guys. It's because uh, I noticed something, and uh, I just kind of feel, to be honest, okay, not to be all... Uh, not to be all dramatics, but uh, I kind of feel left out because I've noticed within... The uh, Filipino vlogging community that they've been doing a lot of stuff together, um, collabs, uh, meet meet and greets, and things like that. Uh, uh, you know, and uh, I really love. I really like to be part of that. I mean, I'd love to be. Uh, but the thing is, I think, <laughs> I think for the past year and a half of doing YouTube. There's always been this focus, I guess, with, uh, and as far as for me, with other, you know, meeting with other expat YouTubers. As much as I love my fellow expat YouTubers, I've met many of you, and some of you have become uh, my close friends, and you guys know who you are. I feel that I'm losing touch with my own... Um, uh, Filipino community as far as the YouTube vlogging scene is concerned uh, so with that said I might be dead wrong and I hopefully I'm dead wrong here I think the reason why I am probably not involved or invited or whatever how, how, how you want to no matter I, I don't know how you want to word it is because I speak English in my vlogs and for those of you that are just tuning in or probably don't know me uh, you know I speak English because <laughs> I, I, I grew up in the United States I was just I, I was born in the Philippines again I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna say this again hindi ito arte hindi ito arte bakit ako pa English English actually it <laughs> it just comes out automatically uh, because I was born in the Philippines. I we migrated over to the United States when I was just a very young lad, uh, five, four, five, I, somewhere around there. So imagine I spent ninety eight percent of my life in the United States, uh, and you know some of my trolls. I mean, I get two. I get two two kinds of trolls. I get the Westerner trolls, and I get the Filipino, the local trolls. The Western Trolls goes like this. Talk, talk. You're just a Filipino. You're not an American. Then I get my Filipino Trolls. They tell me, Kuya, but di ka talaga magtagalog. English ka ng English chan. Sandali ka lang tumapak sa America. Pa English, English ka na ngayon. So, in translation, they tell me, Hey, talk, talk. Why don't you, why don't you just speak in uh, Tagalog? You know, you've only been in America a few months. Now you're all about speaking English? I'm like, how do you guys know? I mean, I never respond to troll comments. I read them sometimes all the way through, sometimes halfway through. Because you could sense if it's a stupid ass troll comment, and I delete them almost immediately. But anyway, how would you guys feel if I spoke Tagalog in my vlogs? Again, this is to hopefully get more in tune and more in touch with the Filipino vlogging scene, uh, the lo the more local Pinoy vloggers here that speak Tagalog in their vlogs. The thing is, um, I will try my darndest to speak in Tagalog. Because what you guys gotta understand, again, uli uli tingko, hindi ito arte, you know what I mean? Uh, I, I would have to say, you know, I would have to say English is my first language and Tagalog would be, Filipino would have to be my second. Uh, at home, my parents would speak to us in Tagalog, but we would always respond in English. We never spoke back to them in Tagalog because it, we weren't accustomed to, and if we were, it would be weird, you know? But anyhow, so that's the reason why uh, the Tagalog never went away. But yeah, uh, I'm thinking about switching it up, maybe, and speaking in Tagalog in my vlogs, and titling my vlogs in Tagalog. I hope I don't lose any of you, um, my uh, expat viewers, 
because of that, I will try to put subtitle translations uh, when I do speak the dialogue. It might be a tag uh, taglish situation because even I have a difficult time speaking uh, fluently in Tagalog. Yes, I do speak Tagalog. Yes, I can communicate with others and other Filipino locals in Tagalog. But believe me when I tell you, it's not that... Uh, uh, how do you say this? <clears throat> Consistent. I have always got to squeeze in some English word there, one way or another. It's not 100% Tagalog. But anyhow, but I, I still can. Uh, again, I'm hoping to get more in touch with my Filipino... Uh, Filipino blogger, uh, you know, counterparts. Uh, I just feel, <laughs> I feel left out. You know, I, I feel like I've been so focused on the expat community uh, and and things like that. And now when I switch on, you know, I go jump over to the other spectrum. Yes. I feel like that I'm, I'm like the oddball and the, uh, the lonely guy here. And the, uh, you know, I'm like stuck. It's like. I'm stuck stuck in the middle here, you know. Am I am I an expat Philippine blogger or am I a Filipino local blogger? Yeah. I'd like you know I'd like to think that I kind of belong to both. You know, I think that's what makes me. I think at least I think uh, unique because you get you get you kind of get the best of both worlds. You know, you have a Filipino yes b by ethnicity, uh, and you also have a, a an American. By, by heart and uh, lifestyle and mentality. <laughs> so I'm going to try that out. Uh, maybe not in this vlog, eh, maybe the next or the following vlog after that. I will try to, I will speak in uh, mainly Tagalog and title my vlogs in Tagalog. Hopefully that does not deter any of you. Um, I love you guys, my expat viewers, friends. Again, let me know what you think, if uh, yay or nay, and a uh, good idea, bad idea, or, you know, you're tripping, I'll do whatever you want. Well, you know, at the, end, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I will do whatever I want. I'm a grown man, right? Anyway, but still, your, your, your input is real important to me. Uh, so, yeah, let me know. Again, not in this vlog, maybe in upcoming vlogs. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Uh, some Tagalog. It'll be, you know, it, you know, it'll be taglish. It'll be taglish. Uh, but we'll see where that goes. Hopefully, I'll, I'll be more, I'll get to be more in tune with you guys. Uh, my Filipino bloggers, blogger friend, my local Pinoy blogger friends that are here in the Philippines, that are based here in the Philippines, that speak Tagalog and have pro predominantly uh, Filipino Tagalog speaking audiences. I hope to catch her, to capture that demographic as well and I think I would like to focus on that demographic because I'm here in the Philippines and these guys are here in the Philippines my fellow Pinoy are here in the Philippines and you know I, I'd like I'd like to to get to know some of them now for a change and shake hands with some of them and meet some of them uh, you never know what will uh, pan out because of that right I mean there's nothing wrong with that uh, and we all, it's really important, I still feel that's really important that we all stick together as one, you know, I, I do not see this YouTube thing as a competition, I, I, I really don't, I mean, if for anyone that does, I seriously don't know what's wrong with them, but anyway, for me, uh, we have to support one another, uh, again, YouTube is not a competition, at least for me. Uh, and uh, just respect one another, you know what I mean? And you know, if you, you might disagree with, with you know, with one's, with the other guy's ch choices or beliefs, but still at the end of the day, you know, the respect has to be there. And I know, a little bit of respect will go a long way, guys. Trust me. Anyway, uh, yeah. Gotta get ready. Luke, I know you're messaging me right now on the other side. It's about quarter to nine. I think I'm gonna hit up the gym. I have to, not think I will. I gotta have to. I'll get back to you guys later and get back, get ready, do the meet and greet, and uh, we'll take you guys along, all right?
Later.